shortcut way to do a lot of these transformations that we've just done, but this time we'll do them directly on the artboard without having to input numbers into the tool dialog boxes. You can do this using the tilde key on your keyboard along with the transform tools. And if you haven't worked with this key before, you'll most likely find it at the upper left hand corner of your keyboard. First, select the object, then select the appropriate tool from the tool panel. To start, I'll just use the black arrow, which we normally use to move objects around on the artboard, but if I also hold the tilde key as I click and drag the black arrow on my pattern fill, I can move the pattern's position around inside the object, leaving the object in place. That's pretty cool. This works with the scale tool as well. I'll go to the tool panel and get the scale tool just clicking it once in the tool panel. And to scale the pattern and leave the object at the same size, hold the tilde key while clicking and dragging. And you can see a box that indicates the amount of scaling in relation to the original object. Then release the tilde key and your mouse or pen. And you can see I distorted the pattern that time but I can just reset the pattern by clicking the swatch in the swatches panel to return the pattern to its original proportions and now to scale just the pattern while maintaining its proportions this time hold the tilde key then click and start dragging on your pattern fill and then add the shift key as you continue dragging holding both tilde and shift at the same time and then release so drag first with the tilde key then add shift and continue holding them both until you're finished and you can release the keys and the mouse. This key also works with the rotate tool and the reflect tool and even the shear tool so you can transform pattern fills independent of their objects right on the artboard. Here I'll select the rotate tool and then drag on the pattern fill while holding the tilde key. 